Hello and welcome. I hope you're safe and well. In today's exciting episode, I finally finished the aqua layer cake dress by adding a bodice to it. It took me long enough. Oh, and I also did a bit more work on that jacket in the background. I fixed the neckline, made it a little bit deeper, and I also added some keys. It's looking pretty fabulous. It's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Perfect jacket. And half the world it's turning in from summer into autumn and the other half the world it's just about to be spring and yeah so I'm doing a massive comrie of everything and yeah so everything's everywhere so just kind of ignore it all in the background. So anyway this episode I'm making a bodice for my layer cake dress. I had all these plans for all these layer cake dresses. I have done a number of them, but not all of them, sadly. I was wearing my blue um, patchwork skirt today. And yeah, so I think instead of making all of these up into dresses, I might make some of them up into skirts because it's just so much fun to wear. And yes, so I might do that. Anyway, these are the adorable fabrics that went into the aqua layer cake dress my favorite is that greenish one there with the frogs on it sadly all of it went into the skirt there's none left over for the bodice i will put a link in the description box below to the episode where i made that because it gives you if you're a bit confused or a bit sort of daunted by how much fabric you need to buy how m m the measurement of each piece and how to cut them up once you've bought them that one's good for just it I just go through you need this many bits of fabric you need to cut them into strips this many strips and things like that or you can just go to the community post section of my page and there's infographic cards and it's all laid out there anyway then I put it aside and made a bunch of other things and now it is time to make the bodice using the leftover scraps. And as I said, I've got scraps of some of them, but not all of them. So none of the frog, only the tiniest, tiniest bit of the dolls one. And there's an, the daisy one also. I don't have them. So I've laid out all the scraps so you can see what I've got. I also added another couple of scraps that are from different dresses. Um, so I've got the woodcut one there, which is more teal than aqua, but I thought it was a good match. And I mean, these are good scraps, but I don't know. I think it's the size that's, I'm not loving about it because none of them are big enough to go right across the front. See how the bodice of this one here is made out of strips of all the leftover strips of all the fabrics in the skirt? Well, they go from left side to right side and there's no breaks in between. Whereas the scraps that I've got for this one, oh, this is me just showing you like, so that's the dolls I don't have. The frogs, I don't have any leftover of that either. Because when um, you buy fa a fabric from the store, sometimes when you buy a yard, they give you a yard and a little bit leftover. I don't have any of this daisy one either. A yard and a little bit leftover. Whereas other times they don't quite have enough so they give you less than a yard but charge you for a yard so you have to sort of straighten them all up and these are the leftover bits so I've got quite a bit of the vintage daisy one here because that was wider than the other the other ones were quilting cottons so yeah I'm going to have to do like actual patchwork rather than strips and I'm not sure I want to do that I mean, I do love all these fabrics and I think they will work really well together, but it's, I don't know, it's not what I want. So I'm going to put them aside and I think I'm going to piece them all together and just end up using them as a layer in a different layer cake dress. And I've got this fabric here. I wanted like four yards of this, but they only had half a yard left. So I am going to use this to cut out my front and back of the bodice and it's just got all the colors that are in the all the different various layers and this is the pattern that I use I love this I just lengthened the bodice a little bit because that one is very cropped and um, I just 
like tying my tie a little bit lower than that so I just added five centimeters or a couple of inches and I cut out the it's kind of see-through but I have a lining so it doesn't really matter it's a beige lining so then I made it and I was running short of time so I just made it without showing each step I'll put a card up to the burrito method episode where I go through the steps of how to make one so now that we have the bodice and we have the skirt it's time to unpin this skirt finally it's been on this uh, mannequin the whole time anyway so it's time to unpin it and pin the two together and pleat it down and then we will machine sew them together so I pinned the front center front center back left side and right side together and then I sort of halved it halved it halved it and then just put all the pleats to one side or the other and now that it's at this point I have to machine sew it you sew it twice and then once that's done, you hand stitch the lining to the inside of the dress. And there we go. It's so pretty. Oh my goodness. I love this. I should have done it ages ago. It's just completely adorable. I love this. And of course, I put a green sash on there. I have like five different, well, I have more than that, but five that I was choosing from different green sashes that match other green dresses that I have. I probably should do an episode where I show you all the green dresses that I have. It's it's a lot, but green is my favorite color. And um, here it is. It's so pretty. I just love it. It's so sunshiny. It's lovely. And oh, the pink is in the background because I'm thinking of doing a pink um, pink and orange one next. Oh, and I'm also thinking of doing the Lego bricks um, in a jacket, but also I might make a handbag because I don't think all the Lego bricks look good together. So I might divide them into the pastel colors and one for the other colors, maybe. I don't know. And then I got out my Valentino handbag because I think I just love green. What can I say? And um. Yeah, it just looks absolutely adorable with this. And I've got this green um, cashmere wool blend that I'm going to make up into a jacket that I'm, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe I'll put coral beads on it because there's this like parrot bird that's bright green and it's got this coral beak and they're just absolutely beautiful. Anyway, oh, this is me showing you all the jackets. I've These are first time I've used all these jacket patterns and oh, they're the August ones that I made this month and they're all the beading ones on the left there that I haven't finished yet but all these ones here out of cotton they're all different various jacket patterns that I tried for the first time and I still haven't done reviews of so I'm not sure whether that's going to be one big episode or two regular size ones but this is it from the side oh, I just love this dress so much now I'm torn I, I think I'll make some up as skirts and some up as dresses because this dress is just it's just so pretty like I knew it would be pretty because all the fabrics are lovely but yeah oh and this is the orange and pink one that I'm thinking of doing next I've also got a couple of orange um fat quarters bright orange so I might add them into the mix as well so I think that's the next one that will be a dress but then after that I might do a few skirts just to sort of get them done this one oh my goodness oh my goodness this is how like I know that it probably seems like I exaggerate it but I literally do walk around <laughs> holding the edges going this dress is so pretty but um oh it's just so lovely it's so pretty and this is me looking at the pink and the red wools in the background well the pink and white one is a tweed but the two red ones are wools and they would look absolutely gorgeous with this so yes I have to get more jackets made I was I was looking at how many weeks there are left in the year and I'm like okay how many more jackets can I make but I've also got like a couple of storage boxes of jackets that are made but are not beaded yet 
So I'm trying to work out how many jackets can I make, like how many tweeds can I make up into jackets in the remainder of this year and how much more beading can I do as well. So it will be interesting to juggle it all as well as everything else that I have to do. So yeah, but oh, they, it just looks so pretty. And I love it with this Valentino handbag. I mean, I do want to make my own handbags, beaded handbags, but this one is just pretty special. So, yeah, I I can't believe I put this off, put off making this, uh, finishing this dress and making this bodice for the longest time. And then it actually didn't take that long because I didn't end up filming every step, which is the bit that takes the long time. But Oh, I love this. I, sorry, I keep showing you the same exact dress, but oh, there's just so many pretty fabrics in this one. It's definitely a twirly one. Oh, and this is me like finally looking past the dress to the jacket that I haven't finished yet. And um, yeah, so last episode I made the jacket and did the keys. So what I've done now is I turned it inside out re-sewed the neckline so that it's deeper and now it's time to stitch on more of the keys so I had to decide if I was going to make them match the cuffs and the hem or I was going to do it because the neckline is basically just a circle so having the big part of the keys all around the bottom and the little part of the keys all around the top would mean that you get more keys in and it looks more even but doing it um top to tail makes it match the um like the hem and the cuffs so I ended up doing that way which is oh my gosh it was so difficult but so I did the first side and then I had the headache of trying to match the second side to the first side Oh goodness, the second side took forever and I didn't film it because it was very frustrating. And now I have to do the map on the back. And yeah, so I was just working out how big it would be. Oh, and of course, I also filmed it. So um, yeah, here it is. It looks lovely. I still have to fix the shoulders. I think I'll just unpick just the top bit of the shoulder, like the rise, and re-sew that, then hand stitch the seam down on the inside. I could just hand stitch the seams down and that would fix a lot of it. But I think I'll be happier if I unpick it and then so you can tell from the back, it will just look better if I unpick it, redo it by hand and then hand stitch the seam allowance down. But I can't be bothered doing that at the moment. So I'm going to do the beading on the back. So I was like, I wasn't sure whether this size, because I had to make it so much smaller because the keys take up so much room. I wasn't sure whether the map would really look good because it's like relatively quite narrow. And I wasn't sure if like scaling it down would work or not. So I also have a slice of um, watermelon and I was like, okay, which one should I do? So then I, I finally get it down <laughs> and um, here we go. So I ended up going with the map because it does match the keys. And so I carefully pinned it in place and I have started doing the beading. I think I've done two bits of thread so far. I did one and then I went back and I did every second bit the other like you do every second bead and then you go over again with a different thread and you do the missing beads essentially. And so I'm going to slowly fill that in, but that's all I've gotten to so far because the keys around the neckline took so long. Anyway, that is it for this video. I finally finished my Aqualaya cake dress. I'm so happy with it. Oh, I have to go twirl in it now. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you've been inspired to make a layer cake dress of your own or do some very intricate beading that takes forever but will look awesome. Oh, look at all that stuff in the background. I have got so much cleaning and sorting and everything to do. But this jacket, it just looks adorable. Really have to fix those shoulders. Anyway, thanks again for watching. 
and happy sewing. Oh, look at all these beautiful fabrics. It's just so 